Hello everybody, happy Good Friday. How's everybody today? Hope you're having a nice relaxing day because I don't know about you fellas down there, but up here everything's closed on Good Friday. Well, except to Tim Hortons, of course. So, went there and had lunch with a friend today. That was kind of nice. But yeah, I was uh, reading some of the comments in my last two videos, and I think I'm getting to those Republicans, but you know what? The stupid shit they say to me drives me mental because they're always going on about, oh yeah, vote for Biden. He's already wrecked the country. And then they go on, he's done nothing about gas prices. He's done nothing about uh, inflation. He's done. You know what? The man only has four years. He did more than four years than most presidents did in two friggin' terms. Just saying. Now, as far as food prices are going, they gotta know. That some of the things that the president doesn't have power over is corporations and how they do their pricing. The gas companies are going to charge you whatever the hell they're going to charge you. My little car today, it cost me $71 to fill up my car. That's right. And that takes me 437 kilometers. Gas today was $1.63 a liter. A liter. So you times that by 3.37. Yeah. And tell me again how expensive gas prices are in the States. They go on about that shit all the goddamn time. Um, housing costs and rent. Well, who's building the houses? It's individual home builders. They have their own companies and they charge their own prices. They pay whatever they pay for uh, steel and lumber and stuff like that and all the building supplies they pay what they can for that and then they up it by 10 20 30 times and have you noticed they're just dying for you to get out of that apartment because they can't they can only uh, charge so much a month for rent and they can only raise it so much at least here anyway they can only raise it so much a year I think it's like two percent or something but as soon as you move out, that's when they become friggin' lunatics and they set the prices up so high. Where I am in Canada, they'll take somebody that just moves out of the house, say um, it's an apartment. Let's go with that, shall we? And they decide that they're gonna buy a house. So they move out of the apartment and they're paying, now this is low rent right now, I'm telling you, because my son's been there in his apartment probably about seven, eight years, I guess. Now, he's paying close to $800 a month for his apartment. That's all in. But if he moves, that landlord and every other landlord is going to up that rent to two, two and a half times that much. So his apartment, if he leaves, his apartment will be something like maybe $2,100 a month. Yeah. So, as far as them going on about Biden and inflation and everything else, you got to look at the whole picture for the whole country. Some of these people are just greedy bastards. There's no way around it. That's all it is. It's pure corporate greed. The same with the gas prices, same with the food prices. You know what they did? When... The pandemic hit, and we were all locked in our friggin' houses. I was lucky I have a big backyard. But uh, we were locked in our houses. We got to go to the grocery store, medical appointments. That was it. Drug stores. So, there was supply chains. So, it's a supply and demand thing, right? I took a marketing course or two. Um, so, that's what they go on about there. Um, oh, they had to charge more because it cost more for supply chains. Well, it didn't cost them any for gas because they couldn't give gas away. The price of uh, oil a barrel was like eight, nine dollars a barrel. And sometimes it was minus uh, dollars a barrel. So they can't say that there was a price of gas and stuff there for that, like they're trying to do. So they made a friggin' killing off people that were suffering. They made a killing off it. So when everybody finally got back to work, when Joe Biden opened up all the limits, everybody went back to work. They figured, 
Well, Jesus, why lower the prices now? Now they're back to work. They can afford to pay more. And that's what they did. They, they raised the friggin' prices some more. So all them Republicans out there that are screaming at me saying Biden didn't do this and Biden's doing that and he's ruining the country and inflation and the border. Oh, for f the border. Enough with the goddamn border. There's a solution now. Never mind what happened years ago because Democrats and Republicans both were to blame for what goes on down there. Nobody passed nothing. So now there's a solution. And a friggin' re two Republicans, that whiny bitch uh, Katie Britt there from Alabama... She was one of the uh, architects of that friggin' bill. So her and her, her big, ah, ah, people are dying. Yeah, that one? Yeah, she was one of the architects. But no, will they pass it? Of course not. Because it's going to help President Joe Biden. Not the former disgraced uh, commander-in-chief. So, yeah, it's only going to, it'll help Biden and it won't do shit for him. And right now he's trying to dig himself out of a hole. So let's worry about that, uh, shall we, with somebody else's. Oh, it's just so maddening, isn't it? Yeah, just, just blame the president for all your problems. You're an asshole. Blame the president. Your neighbor's a jerk. Blame the president. Take a long, hard suck of my ass, Republicans. That's what you can do. If Marjorie Taylor Greene can tell a British parliamentarian... <laughs> They asked why uh, she was talking about Jewish space lasers because she was denigrating Jewish people is what it was. And she said, yeah, well, you can tell Mr. Cameron that he can kiss my ass. And if it was my mother, she had said that to my mother would have said something snarky, like if it's anything like your face, I think I'll pass. But anyway, that's my rant today. I was just listening to different things on the news and going through some of the comments. And when I hear all this stuff that Biden's to blame for all the world's problems, we got the same problems here, and he's not our president. So, get off your bullshit, and how about doing something to help, instead of sitting back in your armchair with your beer and your cigar? How about you sit back and start um, calling people that can actually do some good? How about you do that? Oh, Jesus, it pisses me off, I'm just saying. Anyway, Naughty Nana loves you. I'm going to do uh, the Bible video later today, and... Mr. Schlapp tomorrow. Naughty Nana loves you. Be good, be safe. Please take care of you first. I'm going in to get a gummy. I've had enough of this shit. Mwah. Take care of you, won't you? <laughs> I love you all. And if you're new, subscribe. There's more crazy down the road for me. I'm just saying. Naughty Nana loves you. Talk to you soon. And as Trump says, happy good Friday. Doesn't realize what happened on that day. I'm just saying. Love you.